What is happening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Today, I'm looking at another coffee subscription service. This one is Atlas Coffee Club. And I've been in touch with these guys for a while. Full disclosure, the conversations I've had with them are about getting a review done. And so Atlas was kind enough to send me about three to four deliveries free of charge in exchange for my honest review. So what is Atlas Coffee Club? What is different about Atlas Coffee Club? There's a ton of coffee subscription services out there as you may already know. And Atlas is really trying to separate themselves by focusing specifically on the origins in which the coffee comes from. So you're not gonna necessarily get coffee from your really common origins such as Colombia, Ethiopia, and some of the other spots that you may have typically been accustomed to receiving coffee from. Instead, you're gonna get coffee from those origins that maybe you've never touched before, such as Rwanda or Malawi or Zambia. And that's really what makes this coffee subscription different, at least for me. Now, there are some other unique features about it. Each coffee that you receive comes with a little postcard that tells you a little bit more about the origin and their coffee growing history. And you also get a little card, which is pretty standard with a lot of coffee subscription services, which tells you a little bit about the coffee specs, such as the roast level, uh, what farm it was maybe grown on, how high, what, what the elevation was that the coffee was grown at. So those details are also included. Aside from that, it's really just about the coffee, as I mentioned before. So really quick, let's talk about who I think Atlas Coffee is for and who I think Atlas Coffee is not for. So first off, who it is for. If you like exploring different coffee origins, maybe you're getting a little bit bored with some of those repetitive origins that you're seeing in every single coffee shop you visit, or possibly you're receiving the same stuff through another coffee subscription, Atlas Coffee Club may be for you because they do touch on origins that are not as common. So I, I really do think of the subscription services I've used, this subscription in particular focuses on some of the most unique regions. Again, ones that I haven't had a lot of experience with. And that's really where the differentiators end. And I think if you're going to consider this subscription service, that has to be a primary selling point for you. Because if you don't care too much about unique origins, then really you can get very similar stuff and even more affordable stuff from alternative options out there. So segueing into who Atlas Copy is not for, you know, although you do get to explore different coffee regions, they don't really provide a, that much variety beyond this. And what I mean by that is that it's strictly single origin coffees. There are no blends. While you can choose between different roast levels, most of it is, well, all of the coffee is roasted by Atlas themselves. So in other words, it's a single roaster coffee subscription service and Another thing that they don't really have much variety in is the processing methods. So I noticed every copy I received was a washed coffee, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're maybe more of a fan of natural coffees or naturally processed coffees like I am, then Atlas really isn't going to do it for you. And then the last thing that probably may not apply to most people watching this video, but some of you are decaf drinkers and Atlas does not offer a decaf option at this time. So let's talk about what I liked about Atlas Coffee Club and what I disliked about Atlas Coffee Club. We will start with the positives. So when I evaluate coffee subscription services, the really the most important thing to me is the coffee itself. What kind of quality am I getting? Is the coffee fresh? Is there a lot of variety? And fortunately for Atlas, in the freshness department, I think 
they were pretty much spot on and I, I pretty much enjoyed every coffee I tried. So it wasn't like I was particularly blown away by any of the coffees, but they were all kind of in line with what my taste preferences are, at least from a roast level perspective. Most of the coffees I tried were in the light to medium range. And this is what I am typically looking for. Now, that isn't to say that I dislike dark roast, but they're not necessarily my favorite. And for that reason, this was something that I liked about Atlas Coffee Club. The, the coffees that they were serving up were um, basically uh, in line with my taste preferences. Now, was it the best coffee I've ever received from a coffee subscription service? No, it wasn't. Um, in fact, I, I would say that it, it was pretty good, but it wasn't, again, there were no real standouts for me. Another thing, though, that I really liked about Atlas Coffee Club is the online interface and just managing my subscription. Um, a lot of the times when I'm evaluating coffee subscriptions, I have noticed that their online interfaces are difficult to work with and making updates such as pausing the subscription service or changing preferences can be a little bit of a hassle. So fortunately Atlas Coffee Club has a nice online interface so you don't have to jump through any hoops to, to make changes. Now let's talk about what I didn't like about Atlas Coffee Club. So I'll be honest there isn't anything I strongly disliked about Atlas Coffee Club but that still doesn't mean that it's the coffee subscription that I would personally choose or continue with long term. At the time of this review, I'm still all in with Mista Box. They are my coffee subscription of choice. And I think after that, it would probably be Angel's Cup. And then the last thing I wasn't too big a fan of is the fact that there were no roast dates listed on the bag. I get that they're roasting their coffee fresh for every order, but I'd still like to see a roast date on the bag to get a sense for how fresh is the coffee and really is it too soon to be drinking that coffee or brewing it up because the coffee was roasted too recently. So this is the only coffee subscription I think that I've tried so far that does not have roast dates listed on their bags. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at the Atlas Coffee Club interface, specifically how to sign up for a subscription on their website, and just give you a general sense of how nice of a user experience it is. So here on their site, you just click on the obvious call to action of starting your journey and you'll get the occasional pop-up getting you to try and subscribe to their email list, but we are going to skip that. So you can see you have a half bag option, single bag, or a double bag. You can select between two or four weeks, but once you have a profile, you can choose anywhere from one to ten weeks, and then you choose your roast preferences, whether you want it whole bean or ground, and then you just simply continue on to checkout. Once you've placed your order, you'll get this little pop-up window here, and they will send you a receipt. As you can see, I've just received that, and they'll tell you next steps and what you can do in your account. So let's complete this registration here. And again, really nice interface. They're, they're really trying to customize what your future experience as a subscriber will be. So you take this quick quiz and I usually get single origin coffees and then of course I complete the account setup, enter in a password and activate the account. So let's just go over in a little bit more detail what you see here in the account section Again, this is one of the best that I've seen of any coffee subscription service, if not the best one. So in your account, which is right up here, 
click this link and you get to this page. And right up at the top, it says when your next coffee is on the way. You can see mine is set to ship on November 1st. And if I need coffee now, I can resume with the click of a button. And then there's this little jump link here to view my plan, account info if I need to change anything. But before I skip ahead there, you can see they give you a nice obvious place to share your referral link. And this is a pretty standard offer. You'll both get $10 if said friend or family member signs up. Cool little GIF here too, or GIF. Now as you scroll down here on the left, you'll see the coffee passport. And this basically highlights the most recent coffee that would have been sent to you if you had received a recent shipment. So I believe that this changes on a weekly basis and it is roasted based on your preferences, but everybody, as far as I know, gets the same coffee on a weekly basis. They basically choose the coffee from a certain micro lot region of the world. And again, they roast it to order based on your preferences. So here for the coffee passport section, you can rate your coffee. It has the same information that comes on those cards, or I should say in, in the package that you receive, there is a card with the same information. And you can jot down some of your own notes and save those. And then of course you can view past copies and their respective ratings and notes there. So one thing to keep in mind about the coffee passport is that the coffee on the left is not necessarily a coffee that you have received. It is just the current offering from Atlas. So I believe this changes on a weekly basis and you can get the same coffee that everybody else is receiving in that current week as long as you order before September 4th, as it says. So this is very straightforward. Of course, if you didn't receive this shipment, you wouldn't really be able to review it, but it just gives you a sense of where things are at amongst all subscribers. At least that's my understanding of it. Now, you can change your preferences in terms of how much coffee you want, so you can order up to four bags at once, and of course choose between whole bean or ground, and then you can select your roast preferences. Same thing with changing the frequency, so you can choose between one and 10 weeks. And of course, shipping details, billing details, all of that stuff. So again, it's an excellent user experience. The customer support number is right up there in the top right, and then they've got email support as well. Really outstanding. I, I can't speak highly enough about the overall customer experience here. Now I thought it would be cool to show you some of the emails I received as a subscriber. So here's one of them that is basically notifying the, me that my copy is going to ship soon. And what's cool that they do here is they basically check in with you to make sure that's okay. And this might seem like a feature that isn't necessary, but I can't tell you how many times I have been on a certain schedule with a coffee subscription service and then been surprised by an impending delivery when I already had enough coffee on hand. So this is a really nice touch and just an example of the user experience outside of the website itself where they're checking in and making sure that everything is working for you. Another example of an email that they send, and this is just highlighting the excellent communication they have, is a notification that your coffee is on its way. Now, again, this isn't something that is unique necessarily, but it is definitely nice to know once your coffee has been shipped, how long it will take to get to you and course the included tracking number. So there you have it my friends. This is Atlas Coffee Club. Really a solid coffee subscription service that I would recommend. Of course, as I said before, 
mostly if you're interested in trying out new origins every time you try a new copy. If you're less concerned with origins and more interested in just trying out a variety of roasters, processing methods, or even developing your coffee palette, I would look into Misto Box or Angel's Cup. I've also reviewed quite a few other coffee subscription services that you can check out at the link in the description. I will link to all of those and you can also see a comparison chart basically highlighting the different features, costs, etc. of all of these popular coffee subscription services that I've reviewed. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. If you have comments, questions, complaints, or your own review, please leave that in the comment section below or directly on the post where I reviewed this coffee. Thanks so much.